In this video, we will look how to import JavaScript files, how to import a JavaScript file into another JavaScript file. Okay, so I have a simple HTML file here, and this HTML file is linking to a main.js file, right? So it's linking to one JavaScript file for now, and in here, we are just logging here in main.js file. So here in the browser, I opened up the project and we indeed log something to the console here. Okay, now let's say we have another JavaScript file. I'm gonna call that common.js because maybe we're gonna put things in here that other JavaScript files will need commonly. Also called utilities or helper functions or constants, right? So for example, in here I could have a URL. Right, maybe an API URL. If you have to make a lot of API requests, well, you may want to have the base of that URL in a separate var variable here, right? So I'm just going to put uh, a URL in here, right? And maybe, you know, you can have a so-called helper function, right? So just a function. I'm going to use the mod modern uh, arrow function syntax, right? Maybe a function to convert currency, right? Maybe it takes in a euro, a euro amount, and it, it returns uh, the euro amount times 0 0.9, right? Representing, I don't know, the euro uh, USD exchange rate. Right? This is just a silly example, but we could have things in here that we need in other JavaScript files, right? So now I want to use the URL and the convert currency function in my main.js file. So how do I do this? There are two common syntaxes to do this. So the modern syntax is so-called ES modules. So what we can do here is say export. You can just write export in front of them. And now we are exporting this from this file. I'm gonna save here and then in main.js, I can import them, right? So I can say import and you have to use the curly braces because these are so-called named exports. So we have to actually use their name. So URL and convert currency. So I want to import both URL and convert currency from, well, it's in the same folder. So I can say dot forward slash. If you have to go up one folder, it's two dots, common.js, right? And then I can use them in here. So I'm gonna log this. I can use that, I can use the same console log uh, statement with commas, right? So now if I save here and if I reload here, we will actually get an error. It will say something, cannot use import statement outside a module. So here in HTML, this is now a normal script file and we need to make it a so-called module script. So basically we have to say type is module and there are some subtle differences between a module script and a normal script, but it's not important here. So now if I save here again, now we get another error and this has to do with a course error. And the reason for this is that from this file, we are basically trying to access something in a different file here in the local file system. And browsers, they have some safeguards against accessing the local file system. So here to circumvent that, you wanna use a live server. So I'm using a live server here. This is a very popular one. Um, you can download this. So here I'm just gonna open the same project with live server and we actually get a slightly different address. Okay, so now when I open this, we indeed see here in main.js file, we see the, the URL and we see the function, whoops. Right, now I can also export, them, right? So here, these are named exports. We can also export something as a default. So I can say export default URL, let's say, and then I'm not gonna use export in front of it. So now URL is the default export from this file. So what you can do with that is now I don't have to import it by name. I can import it with any name, blah, blah, from common.js, right? So now um, I can say blah, blah, right? So this is the default value. So then here, when I reload, well, it's actually, I'm using live servers, so it will automatically refresh the page. We still see the same URL, right? So that's a default export. This is called ES modules. Another popular one is called uh, common JS modules. And don't be confused by the name. It's actually called common JS modules. This is something that you see a lot in Node.js. Maybe you've seen this, and you, see, you also see it on the front end sometimes. But this is with this, right? Module.exports. If you want to export something, 
And then if you want to import something, uh, you use require. Oops. Right, this is uh, CommonJS modules syntax. But these days, the ES modules syntax is more uh, popular. This is how you can import one JavaScript file into another JavaScript file. All right, that was it for this video. Hope that you learned a lot. Now, if you like the video and you want to become a professional modern JavaScript developer, then definitely check out the full course. It has two beautiful real world projects that we built from scratch and you will learn much more like fetch and promises and async await, destructuring the spread operator, advanced JavaScript, how to structure or architect your projects, modern front end concepts like components, state and rendering, and much more, it's all in there check it out the link is in the description in any case thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon